I'm David Lombardo for AIN TV. We're talking about expanding Asia market and we're going to board this beautiful Global Express to find out how charter operators are meeting the demand. I'm here with Chuck Woods, the CEO of JetAsia and the chairman of the Asian Business Aviation Association. Chuck, um, tell me a little bit about what's happening in terms of the demand versus the supply for the uh, charter business in Asia. Well, Asia is really picking up, David. It, uh, you know, we've, we've seen this over the last few years uh, uh, after the, uh, the economic crisis in the, in, in the late 90s when, when a lot of the uh, business aircraft went away. Uh, you, uh, People now are wanting to get back into the game, and and lots of new players in into uh, into Asia. A lot of people with with interest in Asia. Um, we're seeing that, uh, that that daily there are more charter requests than there are aircraft to cover that. How are you ramping up, or what are you doing to meet the, the tremendous demand? Then, well, we we see demand uh, from from a couple a couple different. Uh, uh, Perspectives, David. One one is our local market in Macau, which you probably know is uh, is really on fire with uh, with uh, casino expansion. And the other is is our is our charter business uh, in in the in the region at large. Uh, we've we've been operating three airplanes, as you know, uh, for for the past several years. Uh, we're we're growing uh, growing the uh, the fleet by uh, by by seven new airplanes, uh, uh, six Hawkers, and an executive airliner. We'll take the first uh, Project Phoenix airplane, which is a CRJ 200 conversion, uh, comes early next year. So, we're excited that uh, that uh, uh, we're going in the right direction. We'll be putting those airplanes uh, in the right markets to to satisfy. Are people showing an interest in, in actually investing in it? Sure, they are. You you, you see a lot of a lot of the uh, the, the major uh, business aviation brands are are, are coming in and uh, making a home in Asia, uh, 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 particularly in uh, in Beijing. Hong Kong, uh, Singapore. Hong Kong and Singapore, I think, are, are, are two of the hottest and fastest growing markets. So, so uh, the industry is paying attention, and and they they are they are taking a look at uh, at what the what the Asian business uh, decision makers saying. But it's, it's not it's not just the the people who, who are living in the region that 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 are finally catching on to the fact that that, that business aircraft are are effective uh, effective tools for productivity, but. Uh, but there's a lot of multinational presence, as, as you might imagine. Are, are we seeing an increase then of, for instance, charter operators? Is, is the number growing? The number is growing. Uh, the number of units uh, is growing, but it's uh, but it's simply not there yet. Uh, we we believe that uh, uh, you you could add another hundred aircraft uh, easily, and uh, and and people would be flying full airplanes. Is it mostly within the region or do we have a lot of uh, going in and out of the region too? It's, it's both. There's, uh, there, there's a lot of uh, Asia to Europe uh, back and forth, a lot of, a lot of Middle East, uh, a lot of multinational movement there. Uh, Intra-Asia, uh, even though the, the commercial airlines are, 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 are quite, uh, quite reasonably priced and, and they've, they've got good schedules, you still can't get, get to a lot of places uh, that you want to get to. Uh, some of the more remote places in China, remote places in Southeast Asia. So, so there's there's more intra-Asia movement than than we've seen in the last few years. As uh, as chairman of ASBAA, what is the Asian Business uh, Aviation Association doing uh, from a regulatory perspective? Well, at the Asian Business Aviation Association, we've got uh, we've got a government affairs committee. Uh, that committee is finally being rounded out to to have uh, representation in all of the markets. Uh, we're still a very young organization, and and uh, and uh, it's it's taken us a little while just to get just to get our our, our structure and, and our bearing. But but uh, most most of the Asian markets, the Asian countries, are are represented by by members. Uh, easiest, uh, probably probably most uh, uh, accurate to say that that. Rather than, than mounting a lobbying effort, we'll we'll go in with uh, with local representatives who know the authorities and and they just uh, they, they 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 pitch an awareness to, to what we're, what we're trying to do uh, with business aviation, what what business aviation, what the industry is trying to do. We've been talking with Chuck Woods, uh, CEO of Jet Asia and chairman of the Asian Business Aviation Association. For AIN TV, I'm David Lombardo.